Sugar Bear of EU is here to discuss Max Kid's role in developing GoGo. We're going to discuss how did Max Kid get introduced to GoGo, or how did GoGo get introduduced to Max Kid? Sugar Bear, nice seeing you again, man. Same here, Bruce. Man, we've been around a long time. Still look time. good, man. You I'm, look the same. I'm trying. I'm trying. Forty years, man. This man is a legend, man. <laughs> like Max. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How did Max Kid, you know, get introduced to GoGo, and how did GoGo find Max? Well, he Kid? he believed in our music. And from an uh, early age, you know, I met Max, you know, like 30 years ago, 35 years ago, and he, mm -hmm. he always wanted to help us. And he was very instrumental in, in getting us here to talk to you today. Right, right. And uh, getting uh, our songs pushed on radio, and not only radio, television as well. Absolutely right. Now, w was he a musician? What did he play? Could he sing? What, what, what did he do, for people who don't know? Max was Albury Gordy. Meaning what Barry Gordy did for Motown, Max did for Washington. Barry Gordy could, could, could play instruments, he could write, he could yeah. sing. Max was just a go get a manager. Yeah. My, that's what I'm, when I met him. He yeah. was a very aggressive uh, guy that comes out and, and see the band and say, y'all need to be exposed because y'all got good original music. Mm -hmm. And uh, he believed in it. Right. Um, and, and, and how come Go-Go, when I, when I think of Go-Go, and, and, and it's so big, it's so, it's, so, it's so popular here, and I hear all these other groups over the years sampling everything you guys do, right. but then you think, uh, but why didn't Go-Go go, go as Motown went, as that Memphis sound went, as that Philly sound went, that Chicago sound? Why didn't it go beyond D.C.? And well, I, 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 me personally, because Max got ill. Okay. And I believe what I'm telling you, if Max was still alive, Go-Go music would have been just as big as rap or some of these R&B groups. Because, because it took you know. really one guy with a vision who could pull it exactly, off. Exactly, exactly. And that was Max Kidd. That was Max Kidd. I went to Max Kidd over the years to talk about everything Go-Go. The group, mm -hmm. he probably went to him to talk about you at one yeah. point. I remember when there was violence in the clubs and everybody was blaming Go-Go. Right, we had nothing to do with clubs it. Down. had nothing you, to do you, with well, it. Well, absolutely right, but being blamed for yes. it. You know, by people yes. didn't listen to the music, didn't right. buy the music. Right. Max kind of set me straight on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he and, fought for us. Yeah, and these aren't guys just on the stage, you know, shouting. No, these, these are, are big, these giant are, producers, executive owners of all these big record companies. Right. Max stood up to them for us. Yeah, a lot of our viewers out there don't know, you know, your, your history your relationship, Spike Lee, the butt, yeah, the butt. You, you know, school days, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, how big was that song? How big did that song get? You still play that at, at dances yeah, and people go crazy. put it this way, it, it, it came out in, in uh, 88, and it's still being played around the country to this day. Right. Medium light rotation. Yeah. That's a blessing for DC and for me. Yeah, and for people who have followed you, Sugar Bear, over the years, yes. uh, how, how much are you performing now? Uh, I'm still averaging three nights a week. Okay. You know, on the weekends we still go up and down the East Coast. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And we are. Uh, what time do you get to bed in, uh, in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> it's no telling, man. Sometimes three, four, five, six. You can still get and I that. I still done. get up and go to church. There you go. I still get up and go to church on Sunday. There you go. Good man. Good man. Yeah. I used to talk to Chuck Brown about the same kind of thing. Yeah. How do you guys keep getting? It done, you know, night after It's our night. love for our music, man. Mm -hmm. It's our love for our music. And I have a lot of passion still to this day, you know. Mm -hmm. what, about, what about some of the young guys coming up? Do they appreciate, you know, the, the groundwork, you know, what you guys have put out there, what you've laid? Yeah, for the most part, but, you know, they, they got to learn the history. They got to learn the history and, and really know the, the grind that we put into our music, man. You know, it wasn't no joke with us. We was playing for real. That's right. You know, not playing for just for and tremendous bit. sacrifice too. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, you, you you get away from your families mm -hmm. and everything. You, you know, you don't spend enough time at home. You got to go get it. And you know, like it's a job. You yeah. got to go get it. And I, I believe what I was doing, so I put a lot of time into it. Hey right, man, nice seeing you again. Here's Topper with the forecast.